We are here at the Padre Island boat ramp, private property for members only. Okay, let's see what we got. We're going for some. A bunch of nothing and a little. What the heck? Is that what I think it is? It's not a fish. It's, a fish. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dang cool. I'm leaving it up here so I can tell Savvy. It's freaking awesome. All right, now back to square one, trying to get some bait. Let me start a little perch. Oh, there's some fish. He's a cutie. <laughs> It's like your disc is throwing. <laughs> I'm trying to get it close because I want those perch next to the ball. Right, no, I agree. They're right here, like literally right here on the side. So it was, it was smart though. Let's see if it paid off. It did, it paid off. It paid off. We got, oh, we got bait, that's good. Yeah, I was just saying, I was just saying you got what we wanted, so we're good. And the little blenny. So I am sorry that it has been so, so long since we have got you out to the beach. Been a long winter, I'll tell you that. Anyway, we are way down Padre Island right now. We came out to the Padre Island National Seashore and we drove for as far as we could physically drive until we just couldn't handle driving anymore. Had to get out on the beach and get some lines wet. It's choppy, it's a little on the windy side and the water clarity ain't great. Not gonna get anything. <laughs> I have no words. She just went to the fight. I have no words. <laughs> Told you. I just can't believe how long it's been since we've come out to the beach. I am super stoked to be out here right now. So that we can do a catch and cook tonight. We're thinking fish tacos if we can get our hands on a whole bunch of whiting. What do you think about that? I'm definitely down for fish tacos. Me too. I would love some fish tacos. But we're not gonna get fish tacos done standing here and talking. So we're gonna get some lines wet. Why don't you come with us? Check it out. popped up right right by you yeah so it's like a little kiss like <laughs> <laughs> taco right there. I'm extremely rusty. 
interesting us. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking with that one. down here and we got work tomorrow so we're gonna go ahead and pack it in and I'm not gonna lie we're a little bit hungry and we want to go ahead and get those whiting into some tacos right now so without further ado let's get back to the house so we are back at the house and we are ready to make some fish tacos so come on inside with us and let's go I, I was gonna say that I'm sorry you didn't get there fast enough mm. wait what are we doing we're gonna go make fish tacos, dude. Okay, well, let's go make some fish tacos. I'm getting hungry. Let's go. All right. Have COVID hair. I'm cutting the vegetables, I'm getting ready to make fish tacos. I'm cutting chili peppers, onions, tomatoes, guacamoles, which are what, Paul? <laughs> Avocados. Avocados. <laughs> Guacamoles. <laughs> Remember when Rich did that? Lettuce, cheese, and onions. And, oh, and cilantro. We have to have our cilantro because we have it with everything. We need it. Just for the record here real quick, <laughs> I've spent the last couple of weeks trying to get a lot of the remodel finished on the house and that is one of the big reasons why we have not <laughs> done a whole lot of these catching cooks that we're doing today. We're a little embarrassed about inviting people into the house when it looks like a construction zone. Something's so not. stuff like, you know, the walls are not painted and <laughs> this door is a disaster and we have no doors on the cabinets okay, and stuff. I haven't made it to that portion of the project yet. I've been working on floors. Please don't make fun of us. I don't want to see any comments about how we live in a disaster. Okay, we know, we get it. <laughs> so here's Rachel getting our tacos ready right now. So Rachel has all of the vegetables cut for our amazing fish tacos. Rachel. For amazing? For amazing. Avocados. Guacamoles. Always. Cilantro. Onions, tomatoes, cheese, and the lettuce is just a little extra. That's all it takes. That's all you need for an amazing fish. I would put some seasoning. I like taco seasoning is awesome. Mm. I think natural. But I'm sorry, I'm chewing <laughs> chewing. Rachel loves cilantro. On. Don't look. We're not gonna look at Sam. Sammy's taco is gonna be weird. She's gonna call it deconstructed. So let's check it out. Well, hello there. Hello there. How are you? So we are ready to cook up the fish that we need for our fish tacos. And what we're gonna do is a real simple recipe. I'm just taking the fillets. I'm gonna lightly season them. I'm gonna bread them up a little bit. And then I'm gonna pan fry them and they are going to be good to go. Super simple. Like the regular little like $1 thing of breadcrumbs you get from like the grocery store. The actual Japanese panko stuff, it, it's better. It really is. But a buck for the whatever generic ones that works is fun too. And when I do it, I usually don't even use any of that. I just slap them down, boom, pop them over once. Yeah, I'm actually getting a ball dirty that I don't even need to be doing. Now, Rachel, yep. I'm a fan of this. Here we go. So I'm only gonna do this for a couple of fillets. This is two gringos, chupacabra seasoning. <coughs> I absolutely love this stuff. Rachel's not a fan. And Savannah doesn't like anything unless it's clean. <laughs> so 
So I'm doing a couple <laughs> of fillets with this. I think it's really good. These are a couple of other uh, Texas guys that I absolutely love. There's some other guys out there, Far Out Foods, I'm talking about you guys. They do a great job, but on this one, I'm running with uh, Chupa Chupa Cover. Although, there was a video we did with A&J, a collaboration, and y'all cooked something just straight and off the beach. Chupa Cover, he right? did, and she, she gave it one of her 10 thumbs up. So that's all there is to it. You just bread it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's the Chupa Cover one. Right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I've got our fried fish here. Now I do have one question for you. It has been about six months since we have actually done a fryer on the stove like this where we can fry our fish. And the reason being is because we got ourselves one of these awesome Amazing. ninja air fryer things. Oh, this is awesome. I'm sorry. I got to say, we really don't do our fish out of here anymore because it makes our fish taste amazing. So I'm kind of curious. We did this the old school method just because we wanted everybody to be able to do it. If you'd be interested in us doing some videos about how we cook our fish and everything in the Ninja, please let me know in the comments section down below. Because if you would be interested in that, I would be totally stoked about cooking up some fish in the Ninja on video. Oh, it's amazing. It's great. Lobster, we do Argentinian shrimp. It's great. It's yeah, amazing. It, Love it. It's so good in that thing. Anyway, now we're going to get back to Rachel showing us how to put together our fish taco. Okay. This is great though, it will taste good. So Rachel went ahead and mixed the taco seasoning into the sour cream, which I think is an awesome idea. And I do, but it's gonna taste good. I do know it will taste good. It's just not something I normally do. Pretty, it's bright. Paul is notorious for constantly buying queso fresco, which is really Yes, because I like my street tacos. Oh, we both are massive street taco fans. Some avocados in and here's the How much cilantro do you need? We need so much cilantro, it goes on everything. Yeah, but not by the fistful. Um, tomato then. So we're gonna use cheddar cheese because we're not using this pesto. I have no room for fish really. It's a You're really cheese. loading that thing up. But that's totally cool. It's totally tiny though. We usually don't use them this time. It's carb balanced because I think most of our juice can have Yeah, everybody in the world is doing keto right now. Well, I can tell automatically which one is part. Yeah, the ones on top have no chip cut. Or you can see, as Savvy says, they're clean. Oh, are we ready for a taste <laughs> test? We are, so we're going to use this for Savannah. Savvy! Come on in! All right, Savvy, this is the moment of truth right here. Savvy, this will determine how good of a taco this is. So on a scale of 1 to 13, how awesome. What, what was that? What was that? That's a 12. And a 3, so that's 15. Now you can have your water, whatever you want. Okay, so it has been a long day. We are super hungry, and we are also super excited about getting our hands on some more of these tacos. But we do want to thank you very much for joining us today. We had an absolute blast, and we are really looking forward to this amazing dinner. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and slapping that captain's bell so that you never miss an opportunity to spend a little time on the water with us. If you enjoyed this video, Google thinks you're going to like that one right there. Thank you very much for joining us. We will catch you in the next video. I bet they will. That's a good one. That, that wasn't. That's what I'm saying. Google's got good tips. That is good.